So now that we have our host name changed, we need to configure our IP address information. Now I'm actually going to talk about configuring the IP addresses in another video. In this one, I want to show you how to review your IP address information and then kind of how to interpret a little bit of it. So you used to have a command. It was called ifconfig, and it stood for interface config, and this would be the way that we used to view it. You'll notice that it is no longer active. You can install it, right? You can install it using the sudo apt install net tools, but that's kind of been deprecated. The command that we use now is IP ADDR show or IP address show. I can shorten that to just IPA. IP space A, and that will show the same information. Let me clear that so we're only looking at one set of it. Now, in this case, I've got two adapters, two network adapters. We've got number one here, and the identifier is LO colon, so that's our loopback interface. Our second one is ETH zero colon, that's Ethernet zero. Now, that's a very generic descriptor, and that's because this is on a virtual machine. Right behind me, I've got a desktop computer with an integrated uh, Ethernet card. And when I issue the same command on that, it comes up as EN, uh, EN01. That's what it is. So EN identifies it as an uh, Ethernet adapter. O identifies that it's an onboard, and 1 identifies that it's the first one. So you might have something, you know, ENP, whatever, um, that identifies, you know, the PCI bus and the slot number. They tend to be identified by physical location. And that's actually a little bit more stable of a way to do it. But since I've got a virtual machine here, it doesn't have a physical location, so it comes up with the generic ETH0. Okay. Good enough. Now, as we go across there, look at the rest of that line. It supports broadcast, multicast. Uh, it's got a maximum transmission of unit of 1500. You see its state is up. Uh, you'll see down here the next line, the, um, you see the link address or the MAC address for it. Uh, you'll see the uh, broadcast address for it. Here you'll see the uh, IPv4 address 134.39.161.64 slash 22. Notice that it does that in slash notation rather than showing an actual subnet uh, mask. And then you'll see our uh, INET6 or IPv6 address. And the only thing I've got here is a link local address. So there we go. We have our basic. Uh, Ethernet configuration. Now, I can take this uh, link up and down using the similar command. So it'd be sudo IP link. So it's still in that IP family. And I want to set ETH0 to down. And now if I do an IPA, you'll notice that my Ethernet interface state currently is down. And you'll see down in all capitals there. And then I can just reverse that to bring it back up. And that will reactivate my Ethernet interface. And when I do IP address, here we are back to normal. OK, there are a lot of other things in this IP command. We have, and I'm going to not go through all of them. I'm going to direct you to the man pages for this. But this is the command that we will typically use now to manage our IP configurations or our IP settings. Now, Ubuntu server uses something called NetPlan to actually set your IP addresses. So that we're going to take a look at in our next video.